We knew that matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. But this definition is too broad to study every single detail in chemistry. And so, chemists break down the classification of matter into composition and properties. And that classification includes pure substances and mixtures. Stick into this video to find out the difference between pure substances and mixtures, with examples. Basically, a pure substance is a form of matter that has a constant chemical composition and characteristic properties. Substances can either be a compound or an element. A compound is consists of two or more elements combined through a chemical reaction. For example, water is a compound, consists of hydrogen and oxygen elements bonded together. This cannot be separated into components without breaking any chemical bonds. And to break the chemical bonds, it also needs to undergo any chemical methods or reaction. Take note that a substance has a constant chemical composition. This means that water has a fixed ratio of hydrogen and oxygen atoms. That is two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Furthermore, this ratio of elements indicates what compound is formed or present. That said, water cannot have three hydrogen atoms, but only two. Water cannot have two oxygen atoms, but only one. Changes in temperature or pressure can cause a substance to shift from one phase to another, that is, liquid, solid, or gas. On the other hand, an element is a substance that is made up of a particular kind of atom and cannot be separated into simpler substances by a chemical reaction. Through the advancement of technology, new elements were created by scientists via nuclear processes, which is a very complex process of changing the nuclear binding energy. Thus, making new elements out from already existing ones. For handiness, chemists use symbols of one or two letters to represent the elements. The first letter of an element symbol is always capitalized, but the following letters are not. For example, the symbol for the element beryllium is big letter B, followed by small letter E. Moving on to the other classification of matter, the mixture is made up of two or more substances in which the substances retain their distinct identities. These substances are mixed but not chemically combined. Mixtures are either homogeneous or heterogeneous. A homogeneous mixture is a mixture of two or more chemical substance, where different components cannot be visually distinguished and has a uniform composition. For example, the air is a mixture of gases, nitrogen gas, oxygen gas, carbon dioxide, and more. Seawater is consists of water and salts dissolved in the ocean or sea. Other examples are wine, vinegar, steel, brass, blood, and coffee. One common factor of these mixtures is that it is consist of only one single phase. A heterogeneous mixture is a mixture of two substances where different components can be visually distinguished. That is, its composition is not uniform. Examples of this type of mixture are mixtures of sand and water, sand and iron filings mixture, a conglomerate rock, water and oil, a salad, trail mix, and mixtures of gold powder and silver powder. Any mixture can be separated by physical means into pure substances without changing the identity of a substance. From a homogeneous mixture of sugar and water, sugar can be recovered from a water solution by heating the solution and evaporating it to dryness. And condensing the vapor will give us the water component. To separate the iron and sand mixture, we can use a magnet to remove the iron filings from the sand, because sand is not attracted to the magnet. Hope this video gives you the knowledge that distinguished pure substances and mixtures, as a classification of matter. Smash that like button if you've got value. Thank you for watching.